trunk yeah. open up I saw my soul a good price out of sight in my whole got talent hi guys and welcome to pan tech tips and before we begin hit the subscribe button and the bell icon I know you had to plug in the amplifier to watch the last video about artificial intelligence. I'm sorry, okay, I, I forgot to amplify the sound, but in this video I will make sure that I amplify the sound and you do not have to plug in the amplifier again. By the way, the video is about NVIDIA's new RTX graphics card. The video would be lengthy, but I would request you to please watch it till the end so that you get a clarity if you should buy the new RTX graphics card or not. There has been a lot of talk about the new NVIDIA RTX graphics card and the ray tracing capabilities. NVIDIA has said that you should see 35 to 125% performance increase in the RTX graphics card on the games that can use DLSS and ray tracing capabilities over the 10 series graphics cards. If you want to play games that do not have ray tracing capabilities and other special effects like DLSS, you would still see a significant increase in the performance. NVIDIA also showed some performance numbers that show how much juice the cards have. It definitely looks worth buying and the performance looks way better than the last generation graphics card and the best part is that you would get GDDR6 memory over GDDR5 so the basic performance increase would be because of the memory equipped in the graphics card. You would get ray tracing capabilities that are only applicable for few games with the likes of Battlefield 5, Metro Exodus, Shadow of Tomb Raider, and some other titles. The difference between RTX on and RTX off looks pretty darn good. The other selling point of RTX graphics card is DLSS or Deep Learning Super Sampling. It is another type of anti-aliasing method. This method uses AI or artificial intelligence and deep learning to render smooth and crisp graphics and it does not impact the performance. If you want to learn about AI, you can check the link here and if you want to learn about the deep learning super sampling method, I will leave a link in the video description and you can also check it here. Some games that support DLSS are not looking bad either. You would get better visuals with better performance as shown in the event. Performance was an issue with all the previous methods of anti-aliasing and with DLSS the visuals are increased, the performance does not drop and it is only applicable for few games and the lineup are Atomic Heart, Final Fantasy XV, Hitman 2 and some other titles as well. So it's perfect right? I should go ahead and pre-order one right away. Hold on. We have spoken about what NVIDIA has shared with us. We have not talked about the practical scenarios. Do you remember the time when AMD Ryzen chips were launched? The benchmarks were created. AMD had revealed the numbers in the games and had boasted about the steaming capabilities of the CPU. But when the average consumer bought the product, they did not receive the performance that they were expecting from those chips. It was not because the AMD Ryzen chips did not have the horsepower to perform good, it was because the games were not optimized with the CPU, there were some issues with the drivers, and we also saw some memory problems. Similarly, buying an NVIDIA RTX graphics card is not a bad choice, but we are talking about a GPU architecture for which the drivers are not completely developed, the games are not fully playable, and it has some special effects like DLSS and ray tracing that are only applicable for few games. We are not clear about anything. If you still want to buy 
one of the RTX graphics cards, great. I will leave a link in the video description to buy one from Amazon. But I would suggest that we should wait for the games to be fully playable, the drivers to be developed and optimized for the games, and the real numbers in performance and the visuals. So now the bottom line, if you have a lot of money and you just want to show off the graphics card, you can go ahead and buy one of the RTX series graphics card right now. But if you want to wait and check for the improvement that you would get at the price tag of $9.99, $6.99 and $4.99 US dollars, I would request you to wait for the real numbers and that too from the average consumer. Moreover, pre-ordering anything, be it a phone, a camera, a GPU or any item related to the technology is not a good option in my opinion. Thank you for joining. Take care. Bye-bye.